everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Olayede Juliana as you already know and welcome to the very first episode of blindfolds with Juliana <laughs> listen to me very attentively gracing to this episode the first ever episode of blindfolds with Juliana is the beautiful eloquent the one and only oh lord as I want to pronounce the name there's something in my heart in my tummy doing boom 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 because this person he's the one that taught me everything I know about cooking well my mother is gonna watch this my mother taught me some of the things I know but she taught me most of the things I know introducing one and only Winifred yes. that introduction was a one guy. Listen, <laughs> I promise you the introduction didn't really really do wow, justice yeah. because I always I enjoy watching your your oh, cooking um, series on YouTube. Sweaty, so Don't like this well. Don't like this well. I enjoy watching it. And you know, like I told you when I sent you a DM, I yes. said thank you for teaching me how to cook. You know, because I'm Yoruba, so my mom you know Yoruba, I'm losing. I'm proud to be Yoruba. Before every Yoruba person, I say, what do you mean? What do you You know, we don't really, really have so many types of food. You know, if you cook anything, you cook baggy, that's it. So, but then I was thinking, I want to learn how to cook. And I didn't think I was such a good, I, d I didn't think I knew how to cook. So wow. I, there were a lot of people teaching how to cook, but their accent wasn't making me concentrate. The first time I found it, I was like, yes. I have to listen. You know, when I hear the Sizu, it's not as if, it's not as if the crr, crr, crr. I'm like, this person is speaking English. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this one. Thank What's you. amazing is coming out to actually say that someone taught you how to cook. It takes a level of courage to say that. Oh, yeah, I'm not ashamed. Yes, it you know, takes a lot of courage. And it I, makes me feel so fulfilled hearing oh, you say that, to be honest. Because that's what I do, why I do what I do. Yes, please continue to teach us how to cook. Thank you. Anyway, today we want to see how much she can cook because she's going to be cooking for us today with blindfolds on, you know. So we want to see if she can still see when it's sizzling. If she can see mayo, the quantity of the salt, the quantity of the seasoning, how you eating? That is so, yes. So what are you, really <laughs> what are you cooking for us? Okay, so today I'm going to be making yam porridge blindfolded. Yeah. And it's a simple yam porridge recipe. I'm sure I already have the recipe on my channel. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have never cooked anything blindfolded before. So this one is going to be a challenge for me. Right. But hey, I'm equal to the task. Let's see how I You've do. You've got this here. This. Okay. This. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Any question? No question. Are you sure? No question. No fifty fifty, no funny friend. One final glance of all of my ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm this. getting nervous though, but hey. You've got this. I've got my You've blindfold got, don't on. Don't disappoint me, you are my chef, you are my teacher. I won't. Now you can go take your seat. Okay, I'm I got take this. my seat. I got and this. And I'm going to watch her cook. I got this. Blindfolded. Let us do this, guys. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa, I can't see anything. <laughs> Where are we going to now? Okay, okay. So the first things first I'm going to do is I'm going to start by chopping my onions. Who, child? Oops. What did I just touch? <laughs> Somebody should please give me tissue. Okay, this is the onions. Okay. Wow. I can do this. I can do this, guys. Let me watch you carefully. I don't want them to call me that you cut off your. No, I can do it. I can do it. Okay. I can do it. Oh, she can do it. I can do this. Yeah. Okay, next up, we're going to grab the palm oil. Palm oil. Grab it. I think I know where the palm oil, yeah. Yeah, palm oil. Your sense of smell. I'm gonna That's use my sense of smell. <laughs> so I'm just going to locate the pot. I, at least I know my kitchen. That one, okay. I just hope I'm putting the right quantity of oil in here, but whatever. Okay, so we just have to wait for the oil to get hot. While waiting. I remember when I first stumbled upon your channel, I think it was, I think it was three months ago. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then I remember binge watching all of your episodes. Really? One thing that fascinated me so much is um, how you flow from 
Juliana to this character that I don't know. <laughs> That's one thing that I'm like, how does she do it? First of all, what's the name of that character? And then, please, you need to give her a name because she seems to be very like. I remember laughing my ass out on the bed when I was watching, and I'm like, what is this girl all about? Like I said, I think our please don't okay. just put your finger Wait. inside the onion. It's time to put the onions. Oh yeah, let's put the onions. Okay, before we answer the question, <laughs> I want to hear the simple answer. Woo! That's it. The oops, what's that? <laughs> I'm looking for garlic. No, this is not garlic. This is oh, this pepper. This is garlic. This is garlic. I need the two of them, anyways. Ah, but this garlic is not as pungent, and I wonder why people say garlic smells. <laughs> this one's not smelling. Right. Well, if I put a lot of garlic, please pardon me. I love my garlic. Some pepper as well. Then I'm going to give it a stir. I think I should increase the heat now. What does it look like? <laughs> We're not going to tell you. We're not talking to my friends. I want them to laugh. I don't speak to whatever accent by accent. Is. And I don't say it. So one time, one of my friends challenged me to. Put it out because I never used to talk like that on social media, just like leaving my friends. And I was like, what would I go and start talking like that on the social media? Like, so that works. <laughs> what are you looking for? Found it. Okay. So then, uh, one of my friends promised to give me money if I did. And I love money. <laughs> That character is an amazing one. Like that's what literally keeps me on your chat on your channel. And whenever you post it, like I'm literally always looking forward to you posting a video these days. Because of how you just make that switch. That switch is amazing. So what we will do is just cover this now, and then, and then, wow, wow. Where is my cover? Oh, Lord. Wow, dear. <laughs> where is the cover? Where is the cover? Where is the, where is the cover? Where is the ah. cover? The okay, cover. I found it. I found it. <laughs> Julia, you're wicked, though. She couldn't even direct me. No, Winifred, it's not here. Come here. <laughs> okay, I'm covering the pot now. So we'll just let this fry for about eight to ten minutes. Right. Then while it is frying, we're going to come over here and then start cutting the... Wow, hope I'm not making a mess because I feel like I'm making a lot of messes. We'll start cutting the yam. Okay, I want to check the sauce. I think it should be ready by now. Did you hear that sir? It's sizzling! <laughs> Yeah, I think this should be ready, but let me use my sense of taste for this. Mm. Not quite yet, but I think I'm going to add the, the seasoning at this point. Yeah. <laughs> A small spoon. Help me, please. <laughs> wow, thank you. Okay. It's not easy, I swear, it's not easy. Okay. Now, this is the test of my... This is going to be the test of my cooking skills. Let me just do two and a half for starters, even though I can't see what the half is looking like. Well, let me not promise what I can't fulfill. <laughs> but I think it will be nice. What do you want? Salt! <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the salt. Salt. The salt goes in next. Ah. Ah. Let not your heart be troubled. 
<laughs> let not your heart be troubled. Okay, so let me give it another stir. Oops, spoon. Spoon. Yeah, right? So Next. Can I ask my question. Yes, please, go ahead. Okay, so my question is Is there anyone you think is really looking for? Somebody you have like, let's say, a on? Ah. <laughs> I think the only person I'm dreaming of cooking for, I mean, can only be one person though. My husband. Oh. I'm not married yet, but I'm definitely going to be married someday. And the most important thing to me, um, should I use the word the most important thing? Or it would be really fulfilling to know that um, my husband loves my cooking. As much as the rest of the world loves it, I want yeah. to be sure that my husband would love it as well. Because I mean, people have different taste buds. Mm -hmm. And just because I show you how to cook does not mean that you definitely would love everything that I make. Yeah. Because I make it to my standard and to, to, to my taste buds. Mm -hmm. So I just hope and wish that my husband would love the meals that I prepare for I him. Bet he would. So it's definitely going to be my husband. Nobody I bet else. He would. Okay, so what's the first meal you think you're going to prepare for him? Child. Um, <laughs> I think the best, the first meal I'll, be pre I'll prepare for him will definitely be his favorite meal. Okay. Yes, and if um, I'll be married to the guy, then it definitely will be okra soup. <laughs> Praise the Lord! I, I said like that. Guy. Yes. That guy. It will be okra soup. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, okay, God, Juliana is laughing at me, guys. <laughs> The funniest thing ever. Ouch. Whoa. Whoa. That one is for the floor. What four ingredients are necessary in your kitchen? Four of the most important ingredients that I cook with. One would definitely be garlic. I cook every and anything with garlic, including my local soups. Yes, for those that want to judge me, yes, I cook local soups with garlic. Come and beat me. I'm in my kitchen. <laughs> The second thing would definitely be my scotch bonnet peppers. That's the atarodo. Whether the green one or the red one or the yellow ones, atarodo would definitely be a staple. The third ingredient that I love to cook with is paprika powder. So paprika powder is basically made from bell peppers. It's just dry bell peppers. Am I taking all the yams? Well, there's one more. Please direct me, please. Wow. <laughs> what is it? Found it! Thank you. <laughs> then I would also add some water. And um, of course, the fourth ingredient that I love to cook with would be my stock. Chicken stock or vegetable stock or whatever. And is right. it, it's an irony that I'm using water now because we ran out of stock. So hey, I don't know. So that's the, that's, those are the four ingredients that I love to cook with. Okay. <laughs> Any more questions? What's your first memory on your love for cooking? Okay, so this story I've told so many times, but I don't think I've told it in public yet. I remember the very first day I ever cooked anything in my life. It was the day my dad passed away. Oh. Yes. So um, I remember everyone was sad or tired or sorrowful to cook, but some, for some reason we were all hungry and someone had to do the cooking. Mom was tired. She didn't want. She did, she was sad rather. She couldn't cook and that was understandable. So I took on the responsibility and that was the first time ever in my life that I would, I would cook on my own without, in fact, I've never cooked before. I only would assist my, my mom. Thank you, thank you. So that day I took on the challenge of making jollof rice and boy, oh boy, <laughs> I made the worstest, <laughs> worstest jollof rice ever known to man. My brothers that can eat any and everything couldn't eat that jollof rice. Hi. That was how bad it was. Mm -hmm. So I took it as a challenge to, to do better. Yes. So you and so the next rice. day, I changed my strategy and asked for help. I went to get knowledge because mm -hmm. without knowledge and information, you can't go anywhere. Absolutely. So I changed strategy, got the right knowledge by asking my mom what to do. And I remember always going to her, okay, I'll put the onions. What next? Go and put the seasoning cube. I go there, put seasoning cube. Okay, I'll put the seasoning cube. What happens next? So I kept going back and forth, back and forth. But the second time around, it was now better. 
at least people could eat it and I could eat it. So I felt, I told myself, wow, I did this. I felt so proud. And from then on, I think that was what ignited the passion for cooking. And from then till now, it's been cooking, cooking, cooking all the way. I'm a pro, I'm making jollof rice now. Like I cracked the code, guys. I cracked the code. <laughs> Okay. Is there anybody that cooks? Is there anybody that is there any chef that you admire? In Nigeria? Anyway. The one chef that I literally not just admire now, but I look forward to meeting someday in my future or in my, my lifetime would be Jamie Oliver. Now, the reason I love him is not because he knows how to cook. I mean, so many people know how to cook. I just love the way he presents his shows. Like, you can feel him in the show. When he, he picks up his, his spice and he, he sniffs it, like, you can feel like he's, you can tell that he's really into what he's doing. So he, he brings his personality into the show. He's not just teaching us how to cook, because everybody knows, a lot of people know how to cook these days. He brings a lot of himself into the cooking and that's what makes the show very interesting to watch. Can I remove my blindfold now, no? Yeah? Almost now. You haven't added the fish, you haven't added all, all Okay, let me taste. All the let me taste first and see what let me see how it's going. It definitely is not soft, so we just have to give it some time. Maybe about another 15 minutes. But sometimes when I'm cooking, I, I, when, when I'm cooking, I just add the entire <laughs> well, that, that works. I mean, if I was cooking this with a with a pressure pot, like my instant pot now, everything goes in at the same time. In fact, I think I should add the fish. When, for me, yeah, when it comes to cooking, I, I always say there are no rules. Just do you, like do whatever. If, if I come and tell you, oh, do this and do this and do that, and you go to your kitchen and you find that, okay, I can do it this way, I can do it this way. If you do it this way, the other way, and you get a good result, boom, that's you, you've created something. Okay, so I'm gonna add. I think I'm going to add a little, not all, because it looks like a lot. Is this the place? Okay. <laughs> Tommy, I can hear you laughing. <laughs> Don't worry, let me see whose mouth will come out into this food. Okay, guys, so we have been waiting and waiting, salivating for this food to dawn. I'm so perceiving it, I, I believe. Me, I can sense the halo. <laughs> Okay, so let's check out how our food works. Let's check. Let's check it. Let's check. Okay. The yam should it's be sizzling. Should be soft. I can see it. I oh can my god, it. the aroma of that ejaki fish though. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I think it's smelling. Yeah. Like it smells so good. The yam is soft now. What I'm going to do next is I like to add vegetables to everything I cook. You can add any vegetable of your choice, and this is obviously totally optional, but hey. I in, think you know that one could add yeah, carrots to... I do. I do to mine, and it makes all the difference. Right. Yeah. I'm just looking for a wooden spoon. Oh my god. Juliana, help me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to stir this. Ooh, look at that. Even though I can't see it. <laughs> but I can imagine what it's like. <laughs> Take a look. Does it look good? Okay. Okay, now, yeah, I think the carrot makes all the difference. Yes. Looks colorful. Yes. I think something is missing. Hmm. I need to search for my seasoning. My all purpose seasoning. No, this is salt. I also need a little bit of salt. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to go and over add though. Hey God, have mercy on me at this point. Okay. Me, I'm just here watching. And then just a sprinkle of salt. Is that a sprinkle? Yes, that's a sprinkle. I'm still going to add a little water though. You know, I want in, I want I like my porridge, I'm very porridgey. If there's anything like that, then I'll give it a quick stir. At this point, I don't even think it's very porridgey. So I need to add a little water. Do I have water? Hey God, I don't have water. Oh. I washed my hand in this, so I can't put it. Okay, this is water. <laughs> oh, no. It's not water. It's water, but it's dirty. From the yam, from yam. <laughs> eh? what? what happened? Go on, go on. Okay. Go on, go on, go on. So I need to control what I'm adding, so yeah. That's why I put my hand in it. 
Oh my god. Well, you guys, however this food comes out, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I didn't have one of my senses when I was doing this. I had just four. Four. So you see, guys, cooking is all about... You know, basically, you have to have your so eyes. are you trying to say that you don't need your eyes to cook? <laughs> well, you actually do. The reason why it's easy for me is because I am used to this space. This is my space. So right. I know where everything is at every time. Um, so it's easy. It's easy for me to navigate. Okay, but you definitely need your eyes, ma'am. Jeez. Thank you. One year. So just one year. That's all I need to make this food a banger that it is. <laughs> Hope I'm not leaving the frame. <laughs> Where's my spoon now? Okay. Okay, one more stare. Ooh, child, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. The taste is there. <laughs> We've arrived. <laughs> The final thing I'm adding would be the... What's this? The what? No, that's onions, no. Are you sure that's onions? Yes, that's onions. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> she wants to confuse me. Where am I? The what? The bell, um, the bell peppers. Ah. Uh, wow. You will soon find them. Wow. Yeah, found them. Okay. So these are just green and red bell peppers. Thankfully, someone helped me do the dice thing, so hey. Has everything entered? Thank God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One final stare and I'm done from this trap. God. <laughs> this looks good. Even though I can't see it, I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, is it porridge enough though? People should please give me a clue now. Mm. I, I think it is. It is. Okay. Okay. So once the bell peppers go in, the food is as good as done because we don't want to overcook the bell peppers. But let me just give you one final taste. Omo, um, for someone who cooked this with her eyes, I did an excellent job. Drop smile. And we are done! <laughs> done, 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 done. I need to get this thing off my eyes. Wait! Okay! <laughs> I tried, right? I you added on your ingredients. I have. What if I told you you added something else instead of something it's else? It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. I added. <laughs> The reason I didn't add these onions was because this was the onions I was supposed to add at the beginning, but I chopped an, uh, another one. So this is the only thing I know I didn't add. Are you sure? Yes. What if I open your eyes and... That was Nelson's laugh. Ah. <laughs> I recognize this. <laughs> okay, so are you ready to see? I am ready. All right. Okay, Hold wait. On. I think I did everything. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Which is a lie, Juliana. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> See, there's nothing. There's nothing else. Leia, should I help you take it off? My makeup will be messed up though. So you guys are about to. Up for me. Give it up for me. Give it up for me. Give it up for me, though. Thank you, thank you. You tried. But you I, tried. Made, I made a mess. What's that? I'm gonna try. <laughs> Have I sound myself? Let's see what she says about the food, though. Hey, Father Lord. Fingers crossed. Oh. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh, oh. It's not, it's not as porridgey as I want it to be anyways. Oh, don't worry. I, I'm just happy that I'm getting to eat your food. <laughs> Apart from eating it online. <laughs> I can eat it now. <laughs> so let me take a little bit. I know that there are a lot of people that are eyeing And they're eyeing you. Okay. Here you go. I taste it. Yeah, go ahead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? At least, even if, even if, last, 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 it can't pass six over ten. Last, last. But I'm giving myself, I'm giving myself, considering that I wasn't seeing anything, I'm giving myself a 9.5. Okay. 
Right. Yes, I'm proud like that. Thanks. Okay. You're not wearing that into my mouth. <laughs> I'm ready to taste it. Okay, I'm ready to taste it for me. I want you to be very honest, though, Juliana. Like, very, very honest. Honest? Honest? Honest. <laughs> very honest. I know it's not very porridge. Really, I'm, I'm the honest person. Honestly, I don't lie. I don't <laughs> <laughs> ah, She's taking the third one. It means that it is nice. If it wasn't nice, she would have stopped after the first one, honestly. <laughs> Juliana, what is that? Thank you. I'm not sure I'm putting anything, but Thank it's you. actually really nice. Well done! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, you made it you easy for me to though. Enter into the video right now. To come and have it, it's it. Just taste it. It's sweet. I think you know. It's sweet, yeah? That is it. I love you. Oh my god. It's really nice, actually. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was you. so much fun watching you cooking blindfold. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a very good time. I, I had a good so time. I was so scared you were going to chop off your hand and then you were doing something. I was like, Brianna, why are you so wicked? You're so I was like, no, that's the part of the show. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Into your teaching. It's a pleasure. You are one of my biggest, 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 biggest. Like, I love you. <laughs> And I'm not even going to lie. The day you followed, the day she followed me on IG, guys, I'm like, wait, oh, this is this Toyosi? Toyosi from Jennifer Zeri followed me. Then she now sends me a message on IG and tells me that she learned how to cook from with my videos. And I'm like, okay, my whole year is made. <laughs>